in the region. So thank you all. And Michigan, listen, we got 18 days to get this done. 18 short days. And you all wouldn't be here spending your precious time here with all the other obligations you've got if you did not know this is probably one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime. And it's going to be a tight race until the very end. And we are the underdog and running as the underdog. But make no mistake, we will win. We will win. We will win. Yes, we will. We will win. And we will win because we understand be and we will win because we understand what is at stake. This, this election is about two very different visions for our nation. One, Donald Trump's that is focused on the past. And the other, and the other ours that is focused on the future. We are focused on a future where we bring down the cost of living, invest in small businesses and entrepreneurs, protect reproductive freedom. That is in the future that we are fighting for. But as you all know, that's not what we're hearing from Donald Trump. Instead, it is the same old tired playbook. He has no plan for how he would address the needs of the American people. No plan. Can I hear it again? No plan. <laughs> and he is only focused on himself. And now, check this out, he is ducking debates and canceling interviews. You saw his own campaign team is saying it's because of exhaustion. All right. Well, here's the thing. If you are exhausted from the campaign trail, it raises real questions about you are fit for the toughest job in the world. For these reasons and more, it is time to turn the page. Let's turn the page. Because America is ready to chart a new way forward, ready for a new and optimistic generation of leadership. Which is why Democrats, Republicans, independents are supporting our campaign. In fact, you may have seen earlier this week over 100 Republican leaders from across the country join me on the campaign trail. <laughs> including some who served under Donald Trump's administration. Because, you know, they know him best. They understand what's at stake. And I believe Americans want a president and deserve a president who works for all the American people. All the American people. And that has been, as you all know, the story of my entire career. I've only in my career had one client, the people. One client. As a young courtroom prosecutor, I protected women and children. As Attorney General of California, I fought for students and veterans who were being scammed by those for-profit colleges. As Vice President, I have stood up for workers and seniors. And as President, I will fight for all the American people, always. Like, I want
want you to shout your own name for a minute. Let's do that really quickly. Shout your own name for a minute. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, because it's about you. It's about your family. It's about you. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Because together, we will build a brighter future for our nation together, together. A future where we build what I call an opportunity economy so that every American has an opportunity to own a home, buy a car, build wealth, start a business, right? Under my plan, we will deal with things like bringing down the cost of housing. We will help entrepreneurs start and grow a small business. Do we have any small business owners here? Yeah. Our small businesses are the backbone of America's economy. My plan will expand Medicare to cover home health care for seniors. And look, as with so many of the issues that are priority issues for me, including small business, the issue of home health care, look, I'm going to just go off script for a moment. So when my, mother was, um, when my mother was sick, I took care of her. And for anyone here who has or is taking care of an older relative, you know what it is. It's about trying to cook something that they feel like eating. It's about trying to put some clothes on them that won't irritate their skin, yeah. right? It's about, from time to time, trying to figure out what you can say that will bring a smile to their face or make them laugh. Yeah. It's about dignity. Yeah. It's about dignity. And here's the, here's the deal. When you look at everyone who is doing that, and then you look at the, what we call the sandwich generation, which are people who are raising your young children and taking care of your parents. It's a lot. And either you have enough money to afford to have somebody come in and help you, which most people don't, or you might have to give up your job, which means you're cutting off a source of income for your household, or you have to spend down your savings to qualify for Medicaid. That's just not right. So my plan is to say that we are going to fix it so that Medicare covers the cost of home health care work for seniors. Because it's about dignity. It's about dignity. So more seniors can live at home with dignity. Our plan will lower costs on everything from health care to groceries. I'm going to take on corporate price gouging like I've done before. I'm going to do it again. <laughs>